Jeremy Chandler served in the Air Force in Operation Iraqi Freedom. I had no idea what I was going to do. I, I started off doing security forces, which is military police in the Air Force. And when I got out, I, I had a friend who started as an electrician at a high school, and he's doing pretty well for himself. Friends suggested that Jeremy apply for a job at Tri-M Group in Kennett Square, which has an electrical apprenticeship program. The GI Bill would help pay for training. They also told him Tri-M is known for putting safety and its employees first, and they care about veterans. My, my first supervisor, he was, uh, as soon as he found out I was military, he said, you know, we're not hiring right now, but I'm definitely going to put you on the list to look at future employment, and he sure enough he called me about two weeks later. Jeremy's now been on the job nine years, and he's one of dozens of veterans, younger and older, working at Tri-M, from new hires up to top management. If you take the average 22-year-old college student who's just graduated from college, and the 22-year-old who's getting out of, let's say, the military, the, the military member comes to you with um, management experience and having been under pressured situations and knowing how to react and you know get through those situations whereas the recent college graduate probably doesn't have that. Cheryl Danielovich recruits employees at Tri-M. She also served as an officer in Air Force Intelligence. She says veterans are also good hires because of their work ethic. They're organized, neat, on time, rarely calling in sick. They seriously consider safety, they're team builders, and they usually succeed in carrying out their assigned mission. Walt Dillon, a Vietnam yes. era vet who works in Tri-M's warehouse, agrees. You learn how to follow orders, take orders, and you learn how to actually be out there and be a leader yourself. And there is another reason Tri-M hires a lot of veterans. We, we look to hire them because they have been there for our country and we would like to be there for them. That philosophy comes from the top at Tri-M. The company founder, Tom Musser, served in the Navy on an Air Force carrier during the Cold War. We have the utmost respect for anybody who takes a big chunk of their life, really, whether they're in harm's way or not. They're away from their family many times. So to do that, to support the freedom of this nation, means everything to us. Interestingly, many troops have training these days in wireless communications, and employees with that type of expertise are in demand at Tri-M right now as the company expands into improving wireless communications in the northern tier of Pennsylvania. And if we can find somebody with that background, it might say, we, it might take us two to three years to train somebody to a certain level. And if they come in at that level, why, we all win. The company benefits, too, because training is expensive. As soon as you walk into Tri-M offices, you see this poster thanking all the veterans who work here for their service, as well as thanking their family members who served. On Veterans Day, they're going to hold a special breakfast for those people. This culture of respect for veterans makes Jeremy Chandler like going to work. Oh, I love it. Yeah, it makes me feel welcome. I, uh, coming out of the service is, isn't always an easy transition, and they, they welcomed me in and made me feel uh, at home. This report was brought to you by the National Federation of Independent Business in Pennsylvania, NFIB.